Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today is a really cool day. We're gonna be showing you all the display tanks here at Worldwide Corals. When I mean all of them, every single one. So follow me along, you guys see the farm behind me? We're gonna rock this, let's do it. All right, so here we go. First one is the famous Pentagon tank. You guys seen it before. It's 1,200 gallons of water. Dimensions, I think the front panel is 10 feet. Back panel over there is another 10 feet and 10 feet. The side panels are four or five feet. I think front to back right here is about 12 feet. This tank has been set up for three years. It's got about two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 radiant lights that are generation five. We got a protein skimmer. We got an external reef octopus, 8,000 external. Uh, we have a big UV sterilizer. We run it with two MP60s. We have a hydro whistle, a small pump in the back. The big mangrove in the back that you guys can see, we have it here for about three and a half years. Julian Sprung gave it to us. At the time it was nine years old. Now it's over 12 years old. That is it for this tank. Number two is this micro tank. It is the smallest thing ever. Dre is the one taking care of it. It's handmade in Portland by PNW Customs. It's the one that makes it. It's a 40 ounce tank. And it's got his own little overflow. It's got his return nozzle. It's got his own sump. It's got a return pump. It's got a light. It's been running now. It's actually got a little neon gobi in there. It's got uh, some recordia, some star polyps, some candy canes, some zoanthids, some clove polyps. It's doing amazing. Uh, I think Dre does water changes three times per week. So that will be number two. Number three will be the one that you guys seen in a video recently. It's our 700 gallon tank, fish only. It is 130 inches long. It is 30 inches tall. It is two feet wide. And this tank, again, it's been running for about three years. You guys know we had our struggles in the beginning, uh, keeping all the fish happy, getting them along together, you know? But now it's amazing. The fish are flawless, they're super happy. So that'll be number three, guys. Number four. This is a marine land tank, it's a three gallon tank. This is one of Josh's uh, old tank. The, if you guys can see in the back, this tank has been set up for about two and a half, three years. You guys can see the Fabias in the back, there's an Acropora growing in the back. There is a Stalosanelia also growing in the back area. Uh, there's tons of Zoanthes, Ricordias, uh, Bone Polis, Mushrooms. There's a nice torch in there. Again, this tank is three gallons, it's made by Marine Land. It's got an aqua illumination uh, light on it. Very basic, no power head. We do water changes on the tank twice a week. Number five. This is the desk make from uh, eShops. It's a uh, 4.8 gallon. The display is 3.5 gallons. Uh, Lou actually has one on his desk. We're gonna show it to you guys soon. We also have an aqua illumination, no power heads. This tank is 90% all about the zoanthids. So that's a pair of clownfish. It looks like a stormtroopers from Pro Aquatics. It's got the mushrooms in the bottom, but like I said, mainly this is zoanthids. Pretty basic setup. Yeah, we do water changes also once or twice per week. Tank number six, we call it the Ecotech tank. This is a water box 100.3. It's roughly about an 80 gallon display tank. Uh, this tank has been set up for three years since we first opened. Uh, the rocks that we use were Marco rocks. Uh, it consists of two MP10s. It's got some mixed LPS. It doesn't have any SPS. So filtration on this tank is pretty basic. We didn't do anything different. We just added a nice protein skimmer. Like I said, two MP10s, it's got a heater. We do water changes on this tank about once a week, sometimes every two weeks. Uh, there's not a lot of waste, there's not a lot of fish in there. So let's go to number seven. This tank right here is a pretty cool tank. We call it the aqua illumination. It's got aqua illumination lights, it's got aqua illumination neuro pumps. This tank is the same thing. It's a um, water box 100.3. Uh, it consists of the two neuro power heads, like we said. Mainly we have on this one, we have two amazing carpets. We have a pink one, we have a red one. We have tons of euphilia. We have some goniopores here on top. So mainly it's an LPS tank with a little couple of Montiporas there. Also for the gravel, we use calcium reactor media. It's a great tool. I just like how everything just grows coralline in it. Filtration is basic, just like, just like the one before that we showed you guys. It's a basic protein skimmer, a heater. No UV sterilizer on this tank. So that will be number seven. So how many you guys think we have? We're going to number eight. So this tank, we wanted to do something a little bit different. Minimal corals, we wanted to do a goniopora, a beautiful anemone, and some clove polyps. It consists of one power head in the back. This is a um, water box tank. I want to say it's a 30 gallon water box, 
We're just dosing A and B. We got a thick sand bed. We keep garden eels in this tank. I don't know where they are. They must be hiding right now. And that will be number eight. Number nine, water box 20 gallon tank. It's got an XR15 radiant light, generation five. It's got a De Niro pump. It's got a little heater in the back. We do water changes on this tank every two weeks. We like nutrients higher on this tank. It's got tons of, this tank is all about the Aikens and about the Goniopores. Uh, we have a cleaner shrimp in there. I see an emerald crab. I see a few critters. I don't see any fish. So that will be it. That will be number nine. Number 10. This uh, tank, it is 42 inches tall. It is three inches wide, and, I'm sorry, three feet wide and three feet back to back. It is roughly about 250 gallons. This tank holds house nothing but anemones, and it's got actually one purple sponge on the very middle. It's got about six different types of anemones. It's got about three yellow tanks. It's got a trigger, it's got a couple of rices. It's got a bunch of uh, pink scone clowns. It's got a harlequin tusk, and it's got an eel hiding towards the back. Uh, this tank is water changes every two weeks. It's been set up from the old shop, maybe about five years, three and a half years on this new shop. It's easy to maintain. We only has one radion generation five. We put it at 100% for about six to eight hours a day. And that will do it, pretty basic. E11, one of the best tanks that we have. We're very proud of this tank. This is our famous 1500 gallon tank. The dimensions of this tank, it is 10 feet long. It is five feet front to back and it's four feet tall. It is an amazing tank. We're very, very happy with it. It's been set up for three and a half years now. The aquapores are very large. We are constantly trying to make more room for all the stuff. We're fragging on this, out of this tank, we frag at least 300 to 400 pieces of aquapores and other corals every single week. It produces a lot for us. As you guys can see, some of the details I'd like to point out to people. The corals are grown on the floor. The corals are grown in the back. If you guys can see that five are grown on the glass. Multiple aquapores grown on the glass. The recordias, we put one of each color and you guys can see how they're starting to rep reproduce all over the place. It's been nothing but a good success on this tank. This tank has got, I wanna say 25 radians on the very top. Uh, one point or another, they run for about two or three hours at 100%. Uh, we have three power heads, which is the Hydro Wizards. It's the medium size. I don't know specifically the model right now. It's not the largest, it's not the smallest. They got three models in the middle. It is plenty of flow to handle this tank. This is the tank, the house famous Casper that has been with us for, guys, Casper's been with us for 12 years now, 12 plus years. That's incredible, isn't it? And not just that, there's many other fishes that we got here for 10 years. Another one is the black tank. We have it for 12 years as well. Uh, we got the Mata tank, which is bubbles. It's been with us for about five years since it's a baby. It's one of the largest fish that we have in this facility. And anything else worth pointing out, we do have a big UV sterilizer. We do have a big protein skimmer for this tank, which is um, XP8000 external protein skimmer for an, uh, uh, Coral View. Uh, other than that, we have a big calcium reactor from Coral View as well for this tank. Uh, we do water changes weekly on this tank, roughly five to 10%. Now, follow me to tank number 12. So this tank is a 400 gallon tank. It is eight feet long. It is, let me just double check to make sure. Yes, this tank is 40 inches front to back, 40 inches, and it's about only 20 inches tall. Uh, this tank, we set it up maybe about a year ago. We first put the corals maybe four months ago. This tank has only got about maybe three aquaporas on top. The rest is all about high-end corals that we just wanna have them back up in a different system. It's got two, uh, it's got two gyrus as power heads. It's connected to this tank next to me, which is a 500 gallon tank. We're gonna get to that one immediately. I can show you guys the sump. It's pretty basic. It's a 80 gallon tank, frag tank that we turn into a sump. You guys can see a quantum protein schema, which is not on right now. We're trying to get the nutrients to rise a little bit. So that will be it for this tank. With the same sump connected to it, it will be tank number 13 which is this 500 gallon tank that we started two years ago and we put the aquapores maybe a year and a half ago. We started all of them from frags. It is doing incredible. If you ever come here into the store, come check it out. This tank is a lot larger. It is actually 10 feet long. It's 40 inches front to back and it's about 20 inches tall. Uh, we house a lot of different variety of rare aquapores. It has got um, three gyro power heads. It's got an MP60 power head. 
It is a peninsula, it's got an overflow on only one side. Again, I'll show you guys the filtration. Um, if you ever come into the store, this what we want to do with this tank is 100% aquaporous. We wanted to do that with the 1500, and we couldn't help it but to start in a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So it ended up being maybe 70% SPS, and the rest is just a little bit of mix. This one is going to be 100% SPS. We've been already fragging out of this tank anywhere from 50 frags a week to about 75 frags a week. The colorants are getting very large now. I think we're done here on the retail, so let's head over to the farm. Yeah, we're not counting this, guys. These are not display tents. This is just razor where we sell corals. You guys ready? Come on. All right, we're going to start with the big stuff here. This is called Tank 11, which is called the Bangai Reef. This tank is one out of three tri triplets, we call them. This tank, the dimensions are actually eight feet long, five feet wide, three feet tall. Okay, these tanks are exactly 750 gallons each. This first tank that you guys are looking at here, we don't keep any acroporas in here. This is a strictly mixed reef. It has everything except for acroporas, like I said. Some of the fish to uh, name here is a nasal, purple tank, yellow tank. You got a convict tank. You got some um, Bengay cardinals. You got a yellow eye collie, which I see three of them. It's a little school of them, I guess. Uh, what else are we missing? I see some yellow chorus rasses in there. There's some cleaner shrimps in there, and there's tons of corals. Uh, Flow-wise, we run four MP60s on this tank. It's a peninsula tank. Uh, the filtration consists of all these raceways you guys see behind that are connected to the display tank. So it's a sump that is shared with other stuff. It's got a giant UV sterilizer and it's got a big protein skimmer, which uh, to be specific, it's an XP 5000 external, and it runs this tank great. And that will be number 13. 14. 14. It's hard to keep track of these guys. If we look right here to this side, it's an identical tank. Like I said, the dimensions are eight by five by three feet tall. It's also a peninsula tank. This one has got half of its SPS and half its mix. This tank, we redid it exactly a year ago. A customer of ours come over here and he fell in love with the rocks that we had and he ended up making us a very nice, generous offer to dismantle the tank and sell him those rocks and we couldn't refuse it. So we went ahead and we did it. There's an old video, I think it's called uh, Aquascape in the 750 gallon tank or something along those lines. You guys can go check it out, it was about a year ago. Anyhow, this tank consists of two giant hydro whistle pumps, which is the medium size. They produce about 15 to 16,000 gallons each per hour. That's how much water they move. They do laminar flow. And then we have two MP60s. So this tank is plenty of flow. Also, if you notice on this, on this tank, we use the thicker uh, gray sand from Caribbean Sea. We notice you can deliver better flow and you guys can see a lot of coral line is growing in between. It just makes it a lot easier to maintain the tank. Same thing with the one before. The protein schema, you guys can see it right there. It's an external 5000 EXT from Reef Octopus. And the same, the sump is connected to all the raceways. Tank number 16, same thing, A by five by three feet tall, 750 gallon. Three identical tanks that we have back here on the farm. This tank is, I wanna say maybe 70% Acroporus all on top, you guys can see it's gorgeous. It's a mixed LPS reef, there's tons of euphilia over there, zoanthus growing all over the place. Uh, this tank consists on flow of four MP60s, we use the thinner type of sand, just trying different things. There was no specific reason for it. And not trying to sound boring, but going back to the same thing, we're using the same protein skimmer, external 5000 from Reef Octopus, and the same dimensions like I mentioned earlier on the tank. And this is, we call this the Chromis Reef Tank, okay? So that will be number 16. Let's keep on going. This reef tank, we just dismantled it recently. It's a 20 gallon water box. JW takes care of this tank. It was overgrown with zoanthus. It's put in rare chalices. It's got a grafted mummy eye with two different colors, one yellowish, one with the green. A lot of rare zoanthus. Not much to say about this tank other than there's an MP10 on the bottom. I'm assuming they do water changes every two weeks. All right, so that'll be number 17. And this is Fender's reef tank right here. He's one of our best reef keepers. Right, Fender? Tell him, you are a boy, you're so cute. This is JW's dog. Fender, he's about two and a half years old. He's a good boy. So this is Fender's reef right here. 
This is the coolest reef, one of the coolest reef. So little story, JW bought this Zoantis several years ago and he went through a struggle to keep them alive. And finally, two years ago, he started finally growing them. Today, we can say we got a little over a thousand of these polyps. This is one of the tanks. These are the Grand Master Krakatoas. Uh, they're very established. He's got some rock names. He's got those Zoas, couple chalices. It's a single bang I caught in all there. No power head. And it's all because of Fender, you know? So this will be number, let's see if I can get this right, 18. Bravo, bravo, I got it right. No, seriously, 18 is another. This one is another, I don't think it's a 20 gallon. This is a 10 gallon. This is a 10 gallon water box, unlike the other one that is a 20. So that's it, it's got an aqua illumination light. Not much more to say about this one. Let's move on to number 19. This is one out of four, we're calling the quadruplets, all right? This is a little contest we ran back in the days, if you guys remember the, the office uh, nano tank contest. It was four of these 20 gallons and it was like 12 of the 10 gallons from water box. Anyhow, this is a good old marine lang long 20 gallon tank. It consists of an Aquion uh, external filter. It consists of a De Niro pump and a XR15 generation four light. This tank right here, very basic. It's got a Marco rug in it. It's got tons of Ileas. It's mainly about Aikens on this with a few Zoantids. This tank is a weekly water change of about three or four gallons every single week. Okay, so now we're going to tank number 20. We call this one the bounce tank because it's got one of the biggest bounce that we have. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. The, the actual clownfish right there is hosting it. You guys are going to notice it's just funny. Just, he's got expensive, the clownfish has got expensive taste. He, he likes good stuff. He doesn't like none of that cheapo stuff. He went right. You see, he could have went to this green rhodactis, little cheap mushroom. No, he went for the bounce. He knows the good stuff. So same thing, it's got an Aquion filter, XR15 light, uh, it's got a De Niro pump. This tank will do water changes every two weeks. Don't, not sure why they do it, some of them they do them weekly, some of them they do them every two weeks. They're running different tests, they're trying to find out different things, you know? So number 21, hold on, let's go back. This is no longer the Wooten tank? Oh yes, I forgot. There's one thing we almost forgot to mention. This is the Wu-Tang Clan. If you guys look in the back, you guys can see the, the little the Wu-Tang logo. So Joey, Lou's brother, and Bobby, for those of you guys know them, they're big fans of Wu-Tang Clan. So when they did the challenge, that was the name of this tank, the Wu-Tang Clan tank. Number 21, same thing, Aquion filter, XR15, the Nero pump. This tank right here, more Akins, more Zoantis. It's got a single clownfish. He's hosting that fungi on the bottom. Uh, this one, to tell you the truth, I do know who's taking care of this one, so I don't want to tell you how often they do on water changes. I don't know the name of this tank, but it's another 20 gallons, so that will be number 21. Same thing, Aquion. Nero pump, XR15. This, I'm always making fun of JW. This is, this is a tank that wasn't doing good, so I always call it the JW tank. He got tired of it, he dismantled it, and I can see he put a lot nicer stuff. So JW, I'm talking to you. Number 22. This one is a project that we just re redone maybe two months ago. It's a water, uh, it's a water box 10 gallon tank with an XR15 light. It's got an MP10 power head. They did some type of customization so stuff doesn't get sucked in there. I guess they put a couple of pores, not much to show here, it's a new tank, but that will be number 23. Oh, we're getting there, we're trying. <laughs> I gotta ask, is that many tanks? <laughs> Where are we, 23? 23. I'm looking everywhere to try to find tanks. I literally thought there was, a, there was a little tank back there, guys. All right, and here we are. We're coming to see number 24. This is loose tank, you guys seen it before. He got tank of the month. He beat Aquaman Shaman. Shame on you, Aquaman. We showed you guys one like it just early. I think it was number tank number four or number five, some one of those. Is the is the eShops tank, is the Desmake, is 4.8 gallons. The display is actually 3.5. Lou's been maintaining this tank for roughly about six months right now. It looks amazing. We're very happy with the outcome. The cores are blowing up, especially some of those mushrooms. It doesn't have a power head. One of the things worth mentioning on this tank, he's doing water changes once a week. He did a nozzle from, uh, VCA. from VCA, and that helps him a lot. You guys can see the flow, because it's so small, it's hard to put a pump. 
Uh, the sand staying nice and clean. He had a couple struggles in the first month or two. He did a custom little um, backup lid so they wouldn't grow algae on the back uh, overflow. Other than that, that's number 24, guys. All right, so we got number 25. You guys seen this one. This is my uh, three gallon Pico tank. This is from Thailand. I set up this tank, uh, I want to say maybe 10 months ago. Uh, it's doing amazing. It's got this little penguin filter. It's got a little power head. I just recently, in the past two weeks, it was so cold here in Florida. You guys know the winter lasted three days. So I have to put this little, I think it's a five or 10 gallon heater. It's, it's some tiny little thing, but it's working perfect. Uh, I got four torches, three goniaporas, three acroporas, two akins, two montiporas, couple of favias, bunch of recordias, couple of rug names. It's doing amazing. I've been trying to do two water changes, but I've been slacking on it. Matter of fact, I went two weeks without water change, shame on me. A couple of things weren't looking too hot. You forget when you got a tank that small, things fluctuate up or down really quick. So anyhow, that will be tank number 25. Tank number 26, you guys seen plenty of updates on this tank. This tank is the 80 gallon tank from Waterbox. It's a frag tank. I set up this tank about five months ago. I've been having my own little struggles. It's finally getting there. In the last update you guys seen, I added a cell phone tank and a yellow. They start fighting, so I removed the cell phone tank. I still got the chromis in there. I still got this cups then, so we still have the, um, the cleaner shrimps in there. You guys can see them. Also, I got 15 corals so far. I got three recordias. I got about one, two, three, four. I got six chalices. I got one zoanthid, one mushroom, couple jaw breakers in the back. I've been feeding the tank daily algae. It's got a De Niro pump. I'm dosing cog water on the tank. It's got a Vectra pump for return. Uh, nothing fancy, no protein skimmer at the time. Other than that, that is it. That will be tank number 25. 26. 26. We're back at no counting them right, guys. So tank number 27. It's a tie line. It's roughly about 80 gallons. This is Josh tank. He's got two XR30s, generation fours. Uh, he's been run, this tank has been running roughly for about seven, eight months. It's got a single power head in here, which is an MP40. It's got two return pumps in the back. There is no sump. The filtration is in the back, much like a small nano tank. He used Carib C rocks. He used a calcium reactor media. The tank is doing amazing. Um, it does water changes weekly. It's mainly SPS, I want to say 70% on the bottom. The rest is a little bit of Montiporas, quite a bit of chalices and a lot of mushrooms all over the place. Tank's do doing really good. Uh, other than that, that's number 27. Let's go to number 28. Tank number 28. It's a 10 gallon tank. It's got an aqua illumination tank. This tank is a uh, cleanse tank. He takes our photography, one of our photographers in house. And he wasn't into the hobby and we got him into the hobby. So we gave him this tank to set it up maybe two months ago. He's doing a pretty good job. He's got some mushrooms, mainly acans and some recordias. He doesn't have a power head in here. I asked him early, he says we're doing water changes every like 10 days or so. So hopefully in the next update, he's gonna be looking a lot better, but it's only two months old. Next, number 29. It's a water box. It's a 15 gallons from Tommy Lachinsky. Uh, Tommy Lachinsky, you guys know him from the Winter Park store. He's been with us for a while. Uh, this tank, he's got a De Niro pump. He's got calcium reactor media, mainly on the floor. All he's got is rock nems. He's got a nice uh, Blastomusa merleti there. He's got a couple torches, Goniopora, couple Stalosanelias, a little Leptoceris, couple Zoanthids. This tank used to be an old employee of ours, Joe, and Tommy took it over, I want to say, maybe six months ago. It looks a lot better, so hopefully he has a few more calls. He's still got room to do more. Number 29. Number 30. It's another 10 gallon tank back from the challenge day. Someone kept him up. It's got an XR15 light. It's got a Nero pump. It's got a floating aquascape, which is pretty cool. Mainly on top, it's got uh, all Akins. It's got some Blastomusas, some Zoanthids. Uh, the tank is very clean. It's just very stable. Uh, he does water changes once a week. There you go, number 30. <laughs> You're not gonna be in the video, no worries. <laughs> You'll be fine. So number 30, that was what we say? Yes, 31. Number 31, it's a 10 gallon tank. It's back from the challenge days. This is a tank that Keith was taking care of. It got a little bit abandoned. Uh, Brenda took it over recently and she's doing a pretty good job. We got to fight some updations. It's a little, it's a little damage control that we're gonna have to do. It's got some torches, some goniopores. It's got a Nero pump. 
It's got an XR15 Generation 6 I see there. Um, water changes are done weekly on this tank, and tank it's not looking the best. It was only taken over a week ago, so next time it'll look a lot better. Number 32, I'm looking forward to showing you guys this beauty. I'm excited, we have to show you guys. This is Jimmy's tank right here. Jimmy going places, you know. He ain't going places with this tank, we know that much. His excuse, he keeps telling us for months and months, he doesn't have a light. You work at World War Coast and you can't get an aquarium light? It's also, it's known for the ugliest aquascape in man right. mankind history. So we're gonna have to give him a little hand. Uh, hey, on a positive note, it is super clean, the tank. It's clean. Like it's clean. I mean, look, isn't this punch? It's like, it's just, it's ready for action. So Jimmy, we're gonna give you a light, bro. We're gonna make this happen. Okay. All right, so number 32 is the ghost tank. That's what we call it. All right, so 10 gallon. Hopefully it's gonna look better next time. Jimmy, can we do that next time? Yeah. All right, we got him. We got Chris tank. This is the this is the same actual tank that won last time, but we have to actually we took it down. We brought it to the retail, and he started all over. He had his struggles in the beginning. It is a 10 gallon water box, XR15 light, Nero pump. You guys know we love those those combinations. The MP40, the MP10 uh, powerheads, the Nero pumps, the um, the XR15 lights, the aqua illumination lights. We're very happy with their products. But anyhow. He started this with dry rock, is that true? He started this with dry rock and he realized that it takes a lot longer. Same thing that I'm, that I'm going to in my 80 gallon tank. It took me a good six months to get the tank established, you know? It's like, seems to be pretty painful. It's like, you seem like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, you know? But anyhow, it's got a bunch of euphilia on top. It's got a beautiful um, leptoceris growing on the bottom. It's got some acans here and it's got, um, that is called Stalosanelia, Stalosanelia armata. That will be it. Um, that is number 32, we say, right? 33? Oh my gosh, 33. So this is tank number 34. It's another marine land tank. It's a 2.5 gallon, like the one we showed you guys earlier. I think it was number three, the one growing with the Fabius and the Acropora and the Stalosanelli growing in the back. This tank has been set up for maybe about two years. It's got a bunch of mushrooms growing in the back. Uh, it's been taken care of by Shirley. Shirley's doing water changes on this tank once a week. It is one of the nicest tanks that we have here, one of the nicest mixed tanks. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got a nice Montipore, it's got some mushrooms, it's got two euphilis, it's got mycediums, it's got a little, uh, it's got zoanthids. It's just doing very, very good. Uh, other than that, there's no power heads. Uh, we, do, we did put a 10, uh, 10 watt heater recently. She's got the Kessel A80 light. It's working very well for this tank. We got one more desk May tank. It is Corey's tank. This tank has been running for about, I wanna say four months, Corey? Yeah. About four months, it's looking really good. It's got a lot of mushrooms in there. It's got some Ricordias. It's got some Yumas. I see some um, Goniopora. I like the contrast between the red and the like yellowish, you know? It's got some nice Zoanthids on the side. She's using an aqua illumination uh, powerheads and they do water changes on this tank once a week. So that's number 35. Let's go to number 36. All right, we're here in the main office. Last but not least, this is a 125 gallon tank. It's been set up for about four years since the old farm. We moved it here. It consists of three lights. It's got three generation five XR30s from uh, Ecotech Marine. Uh, flow wise, it's only got an MP10, which is plenty. We don't have any aquaporas in here. You guys can see some of the coals been here for a long time. You see Fabius encrusting on the rocks. You guys see Montiporas going in the back of the glass. This tank has been set up here for us to relax in the office. Um, like I said, for about three and a half, four years. We do water changes on this tank every two weeks. It's got a regular protein skimmer, nothing fancy. It's got a good old return pump, nothing, nothing name, just basic. Uh, we got a little uh, hanging rag in the back. Hey, so we got back to this one. We forgot about this tank because this is Frank was on the phone earlier, so we didn't want to interrupt him. Here we got tank number 37. This tank is a 10 gallon tank. It's, one, it's from Frank Lim, you guys know him. He works in the internet department. Many of you guys know him. This tank was one of the ones that was competing for the um, office tank of the month when we did it about a year, year and a half ago. Uh, it's been the same exact tank. He hasn't changed much. He added a few recordias since then. Uh, it's pretty cool to see a tank that's established now that it's been here running for almost two years. He's got a Nero pump. He's got an X XR15 uh, light. He's got a heater in the back. He does water changes once a week. Uh, 
you got a big um, stylophora on top. You got some pipe organ growing in the back. You got a purple sponge. It's got a couple of acupores. It's got a, a big Fabian crusting all over right there. It's got a big old Yuma here, a couple Akins. As you guys can see, this tank is gorgeous. We're very happy with it, you know, and I said that will be number 37. All right, guys, we made it all the way here to Winter Park. Let's continue this crazy count that we got going on. I think we left at 37. Let's go see what 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, who knows how many, you know? It's been about a month I haven't made it here into the store. 38 is a 10 gallon tank. It's been set up for roughly, I want to say maybe two years. On the very beginning when they first set up this tank, it was all scolemias. I guess they changed the theme a little bit. Right now it's mainly 80%, I will say euphilia. It's got torches all over on top. I see a magic carpet in there. I see, um, what else do we see? Recordia, some mushrooms. Pretty basic setup. It's got a nice MP10. The water looks pretty clear. It's got a aqua illumination, prime light. I'm assuming they do water changes maybe once a week on this tank. Other than that, that's number 38. Number 39. This one is one of my old tanks. It's like, I used to have that, this tank similar to it at my house. It was a 65 gallon tank. I used to have it maybe 10 years ago. Then about six years ago, we moved it to the old farm. And then we moved it here. Then eventually we changed the tank to um, Waterbox 90X. And ever since then, they've been doing a lot of adjustment. It's mainly LPS with a couple of softies. It's looking incredible. They got this Wilsonite right here. The Pro Clowns are looking great. This five is taking over all over the place. You feel it here is phenomenal. I mean, they're just huge. They're just swaying all over the place. And this mountain up here full of the uh, Zoanthus is amazing. For flow, we have a Nero 5 pump in here. All right, so we're going for number 40 here. Number 40, we got another one of these 40 ounce tanks made by PMW Customs in Oregon. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I think number four at the other store. It's got his own sump, his own little return pump. It's got his return nozzle. It's even got an overflow box. I mean, it's so cute they even put a little top on it, you know? All right, let's go to number 41. Display tank number 41. If you've ever been to the Winter Park store, you should know all about this. It's been built since day one. We've been here for almost four years now. This tank right here is 500 gallons. It's 10 feet long. It is three feet deep. It's 24 inches tall. Uh, it is just mainly mixed. It's got a few acroporas, but it's got the most gorgeous corals you've ever seen. Super healthy. You guys see all the fish. Uh, I'm gonna feed the fish real quick so you guys can see. What do you guys think? Happy fish, happy everyone. Little tip, there's a video coming of this tank that we'll be showing you guys pretty soon, so be on the lookout. Some of the things worth mentioning on this tank is just the stability of it. It's always done super, super good here. You guys can see that Montipora growing on the overflow. I mean, the corals are just so happy. It's just a warfare right here. Can you guys see right here? These two mycetiums just joining each other and just going up into a wave. Just literally, each one refuses to lose but you can see them all together. You can see all the Montipores, Stelosanelias, just fighting for space. You see the Fabias, the Zoantids. It is it's just madness. Also, there's a coral that I wanna to show to everyone. So a year ago, I got a hold of this torch that is literally grafted half and half. Half is the Holy Grail and half is the true goal. I am not kidding you, it's not two of them put together. We've been growing this for over a year. It is back there. You guys can see it in there, tucked in the hole. It is just incredible. We're waiting to get some frags. It's, it's turning to two or three heads. It's gonna be a while before we release any of it, but it's no joke, guys. It's gotta be the craziest coral I've ever seen, ever. So, all right, that will be number 41. Let's go to number 42. Another tank that we're gonna be doing a video of as soon, especially just for tank. To make it quick, it's a 20 gallon water box. It's maintained by Leah. Leah works here in the store. She's been with us for a few years now. She's doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job. He's got an XR15 and an MP10. Other than that, we can go into the video later on, come back and watch this video for this tank. That's number 42. And last but not least, we have this 200 gallon tank here in the Winter Park store. It is 90% SPS, it is looking fantastic. Uh, this tank is running, for, like I said earlier, for two years. It's got some zoanthids growing on the floor. It's got a lot of recordias on the rocks. It's got about two or three chalices, maybe one or two gonioporas. The rest is all SPS. 
It's got five Radeons uh, XR30s, generation five. Uh, for filtration, we have, it's got a Reef Octopus Protein Skimmer. We have a Cog Stirrer. Other than that, that's basically it. That is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The number, final number was 43. If you guessed it right, please post it in the comments below. I'd like to see who guessed it right. And then stay tuned for more videos that are coming, especially some of these things that I just showed you. It's gonna be some fantastic videos. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe in our channel, give us a like, and post a comment if you have any questions. We'll see you guys soon. That's a wrap.